books were all books trend here and today I'm going to re review this Savak song by Victoria Swab or V.E. Swab and I hope you enjoyed this book review as much as I'm going to give it to you so let's get started Okay, um, I am filming with my computer this time because I want to be looking at Goodreads because I've put some notes there and so I can read it out uh, on the spoiler section but let's get started with non-spoiler section. So this book, um, it's a young adult book and it involves two, uh, two heroes and uh, one hero and one heroine. So one, uh, so a little bit about this book is two families opposing each other in a world that monsters monsters exist, and the kids are there to actually uh, some like they want to be a part of it and actually help with the whole situation, like sort of. So you have August, which is on the Flint family, and Kate, which is on the Harkis family. So the city is divided uh, because of the civil war to keep the monsters out. One family has uh, the one of the monsters as their, I guess, uh, sons and daughters, and the other guy, the Harker, has Catherine. Kate otherwise and um, she's a human and a few things happen and those two kids end up together and they're running uh, away uh, from the monsters. Um, so let's just start it. Uh, I felt for once I would like to say that it's good to read a book that is actually not romance based but actually character driven and also story driven at the same time. Uh, it's quite rare uh, to find you know a, a book that is the story is compelling and you don't have to actually you know follow the story because of the romance but actually about the story itself. Um, I did like uh, the guy August more than Kate. I felt like his character was more in depth and I wanted to know more his side and the book was written in two points of view, August and Kate's and you can see both sides and how those both were thinking and feeling which was quite good and um, Kate as being human and August being one of the monsters, Sunai, and yeah, I really enjoyed uh, the story and the adventure itself. It felt it felt real and uh, and it was quite compelling and yeah, the whole the whole book and story was great. Um, I would like also to mention that I would like also to mention that the um, that it's a duology or a trilogy. I'm not quite sure. I need to check that out. Um, and yeah, well it sort of reminded me Romeo and Juliet without the romance plus full of action so it was a full packed action book and actually quite suspenseful in some scenes and you get to know the world it built up quite slowly at the beginning but I think you needed that introduction and to fill the characters before you go into the action otherwise it wouldn't have been as a good of a book and yeah so this is the non-spoiler review so if you, I would recommend this book it's actually quite good and although it's a young adult book I feel like it was written really nicely and it could have been also an adult book almost I like the characters were like 12 and 15 I feel like 
and I would keep imagining them like way older by the adventure and the seriousness of this book but nevertheless I felt it was a, a good read and and quite easy as well to spend your time and actually immerse into a, a whole world of monsters I guess and the rivalry between the two families and the different concepts how they needed to run the city so I will uh, I will start reading some quotes that I think it's actually helpful then uh, like and uh, that help the book go forward and I mean you can stay and listen to quotes or just um, stop now obviously if you don't want anything spoiled uh, from the story so I'll be reading the things so on looking at the camera so let's you know go to the things um, so during the book there's a song almost uh, that explains what the monsters are Corsai fed on flesh and bone Malachi on blood and her and whose is was meant nothing to them, but the Sunai could feed only on sinners. And then the and I mean, and then you see Sunai is August and Leo and the sister Isla, and they look like humans. They they when they are born, they were born by great sins like. Uh, if a big massacre happens or a bombing, they can um, start. Um, they were reborn or born from that scene, and from there, their powers are are uh, you know they use music almost or like a, a note or something. August uses a violin. Leo can create music with anything with him. And I like can sing. He, he uses her voice, and then this is how they capture the soul of the sinners. Corsai fe, fed on flesh and bone. Corsai is more of like a shadow. I imagined it like like moving in a shadow. It doesn't have an actually materialized body, and they feed on anything and everything. It doesn't have to be a, shin, a sinner or not. And Malachi. Oh, and uh, I mean, Corsai is like on. They are only on nighttime, so daytime is always safe. Malachi can feed on blood. I imagine them almost like a vampire. They can go, they can go on light, but it's quite hard on them. They're weaker than, but the strongest is when they're dark or shadow, and it did remind me quite a bit of a vampire. So moving on to my next note that I I I put, Sunai Sunai, eyes like coal, sing you a song and steal your soul. Basically, they do feed only on sinners, so they're I guess the cool good kind of a monster, and is actually quite is quite refreshing to see. Um, I don't know. This book was. I felt like it was quite dark for a young adult, and it's it's good to see something different, not the happy dippy shit that you always get in those books. So, I mean, like, come on, give me something real to relate on, and it was like something real that you can relate on the struggles they've been through. Like, obviously, the monsters weren't real, but the other stuff was quite good. So then I moved to my next one. So Kate was like Harker's daughter, so she's been moving schools to school and finally uh, she went and with her father, uh, she came back to her father and she's giving her a chance to stay there. So she's going out of school and there's a situation she has to go and see the uh, counsellor on the school, so uh, this is the uh, quote that I noted but I wanted to to have like another note but uh, I'll explain she tapped another pill out of the vile doctoral laundry had given her and tossed it back 
Bear dating herself for letting Freddy, of all people, crack her, her calm. So Freddy is the earliest name of August, but what I want to focus was that on the doctors, uh, the counselors that she gave her anti-anxiety pills. Like she went there, she had a problem with school, she went there to the counselor and what the counselor said was I see you have anxiety issues because you're like tapping your leg and you're touching like you're doing this motion with your hands and so I'm gonna give you anti-anxiety pills to help you. I mean Obviously, you're gonna have an anxiety uh, problem if you're living in a city full of monsters and you're afraid of your life every single day. But at the same time, how with one meeting, not even five minutes into the meeting, the doctor gives her anti-anxiety pills. Like, I feel like that's quite irresponsible and it's, it's not the easy option. And for me, Kate seems like a very strong character. And yes, she had anxiety, but not to take pills. But she said yes anyway, because she didn't want to get in trouble. So her father wouldn't send her away again. So I, I didn't like that part of the book. I mean, like people who actually suffer from anxiety and depression is more serious than tapping your leg and like fiddling with your fingers always. And these are the two quotes that I really like where Kate said, that's life, August. She said, you wanted to feel alive, right? It doesn't matter if you're a monster or a human, living hurts. I think that's the part of the book, that's 83% of the part of the book, where he was quite hungry and Kate was trying to keep him, um, trying to keep him, uh, not to lose and go blank and fit on every soul that is there so and then later on 91% you're just another monster August tried to pull free pull away but Leo didn't let go I'm a Sunni he said I'm a holy fire and if I have to burn the whole world to cleanse it so help me I will so a little bit about Leo um, he was uh, he was born from a massacre from I think a religious massacre and I think uh, his self-righteousness and to cleanse the world comes from there but he went a little bit ahead of himself and then August was like no this is how not Sunai work but he was so focused on cleansing everybody even for those who were in sinners and then August had to like go blank you know lose so he can um, kill him I guess is the word and yeah I mean the book was the book was very compelling as I said before and I do recommend to people to read it and uh, yeah so I'll be reading the book soon again and I hope I see you next time and I hope you enjoyed the review and if you did don't forget to comment and like it, the video and tell me what you think in the comments below of this book. Let's start a discussion and uh, subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye.